So my liver is being influenced here, my gallbladder, and also the right dome of the diaphragm. Hi everyone, Dr. Perry from Stop Chasing Pain. And what I'm gonna do is show you today how you can take a rolled up towel that you'll use at home to place underneath each side of your rib cage as you lie down on both sides and why that can be so helpful for you. So let's talk about the rib cage here first off. On the right side of the rib cage, so if you touch your right side, your liver resides here and the right lobe of your diaphragm, okay? Now the liver is a large organ. It goes actually all the way over towards the left-hand side of the rib cage. And on the left-hand side of your rib cage here, you've got your spleen. And your spleen and your liver always talk to each other and they are extremely important in relationship to blood flow throughout the body. And on the left-hand side of the rib cage here, you have the left dome of the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm sits right here. It's a muscle and it's a bit like a parachute that opens up or it's an umbrella like this. So whenever you breathe in, you contract the diaphragm. So the diaphragm muscle contracts and it goes downwards like this towards the floor and it pushes with it the organs that sit underneath it, which is all of them right here, the liver on the right, the spleen on the left, and of course you got your stomach and your intestines and your gallbladder, stuff like that. So on the inhale, it contracts, it pushes down towards the floor. Then when you exhale, the diaphragm muscle comes back up, what they call eccentrics, this way, and then now all the organs pull back up. Now, you have connective tissue called fascia that connects everything in the body together. And you also have ligaments of these organs, and they attach physically to the diaphragm itself. Now, what can happen? Because one, people don't breathe regularly through the diaphragm muscle. Instead, they're using too much of the neck and the chest and the shoulders kind of like this, as opposed to breathing from the diaphragm. And when you breathe in through the diaphragm, your rib cage, the lower part of your rib cage here, should actually go out and up like this. It's called bucket handle breathing, like this, out and up. Now what happens is people are very, very tight in the sides of the rib cage, poor posture, lifestyle, tension in the fascia, inflammation around the organs and in the guts and through here or not breathing through the diaphragm and then when that happens you get poor blood flow in you get poor blood flow out you have lymphatic system stagnation which removes the waste from the body and then you accumulate what i call muck in the body and then that can lead to inflammation and pain and poor control of the diaphragm and the muscles here. And now what happens, all of these muscles out here can get tight and then get tense in the front, the back, and the side. So we don't like that. We don't want that. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to take a towel and we're going to roll it up. So this is just a bath towel here. And I'm going to fold it like this, but I don't want to make it too high. Okay. I'm going to have you start this way so you can see how it feels. If it goes too high when you're lying on your side and you're really tight here, it can be painful. I don't want it to be painful. It can be uncomfortable, but no pain. If there is pain, I want you to lower it down so it's not stacked as high, right? <clears throat> We're going to lie on the right side lower rib cage and the left side lower rib cage for a couple of minutes or whatever feels good for you or what you can tolerate. People always ask me how many times you should do this. Well, in my opinion, you should do this every single day of your life because you never stop having tightness or tension down in this region and it can help you feel a lot better. So on the next angle, you're gonna see me uh, lying on the side and I'll talk through some of the anatomy that you're influencing here. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now we're going to do the right side first, okay, just because 
I chose the right. It's the liver side. It doesn't matter which side you start on as long as you always do both sides. Then you're going to roll up your towel. And let me show you what I don't want you to do. Don't put the towel too high so it's up in the armpit. And don't put it too low so it's along the waistline. You're going to find the lower margin of the rib cage, and that's going to be where the bottom of the towel sits. So it's going to go right there. Now what you're going to do is lie on your right-hand side. I've got head support here. Arm comes out of the way. And I like to stack my feet, my knees, my hips, and my shoulders together. And I slowly sink in towards the towel, and you'll feel it press that right rib cage up towards the ceiling. So it's pushing it to the left. And it's moving the contents on the right to the left. So my liver is being influenced here, my gallbladder, and also the right dome of the diaphragm. And of course, don't forget, you've got your large intestine that sit there. Okay. And I'm just going to take this arm, put it wherever I like, here, or I can support it in the front a little bit to support some of the pressure going into the towel. And just relax and breathe. Try to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, or in through your nose and out through your mouth, and relax there for a couple of minutes. Now, you can explore positions, too. If you want to take this top arm and kind of raise it over your head like that, what that's going to do is just stretch and open your left-hand side, as you can see that here, and it's going to allow me to put a little bit more pressure in towards the roll. It's whatever you want to do. And when you press this right side towards the left side, I'm actually creating space. Now, why is that important? Because when you create space, you're going to improve blood flow in, blood flow out, lymphatic flow to get rid of the waste. And that's going to ease tension on the fascia and the nerves around that region. And you'll notice it when you come on up, how you'll likely feel like you can move easier and breathe easier. And you may likely have less discomfort or pain in different parts of the body because you're influencing the diaphragm, and the liver. Now I'm going to sit on up slowly. <clears throat> In real time, I'm going to just switch it to the other side. And wow, that feels really good. My left side now, my spleen side is really jealous. So same thing. <clears throat> Place the towel along the lower part of the rib cage. Eye on your side. And I'm going to stack the knees, the hips, the ankles, the shoulders, rest the head so it can be as parallel as possible, or excuse me, as horizontal as possible to the floor. Okay, now I feel this one more. There's more restriction in the left side rib cage. And now, what is this doing? This is pushing the left side rib cage in towards the center or to the right. So I'm easing tension on the spleen on the left the left lobe of the diaphragm and it's also going to go in towards here where the stomach is and the pancreas and of course your uh, other part of the small intestines but this creates space on this side to allow more blood flow in blood flow out lymphatic fluid and fascial tension from the spleen towards the diaphragm and hold this one for three to five minutes or what's comfortable once again, you can explore the arm position. Oh, I really feel that one. And just breathe. All right now I'm going to slowly come on up. Remember, no pain. Discomfort is fine. <clears throat> you might even feel a little bit lightheaded when you come on up because you're significantly influencing blood flow throughout the whole body because in the center here sits your aorta. And your vena cava, which are the big flow pipes of arteries and veins to everything in the entire body. Okay. So to review, get your towel, start it off with a little bit of a low fold. Then when you get more comfortable, you can kind of roll it up and make it a little bit bigger. Or you can take a few towels and stack them on top of each other to make it higher. 
that'll put more pressure on the rib cage and uh, create more space in this region. And I bet you that when you stand up and you move and you twist and you walk or do anything, you're going to feel a lot different and feel a lot better and breathe easier. Okay. I hope this helps you a lot. We give this to our clients to do at home on their own for some self-care techniques. Please feel free to let us know how it goes for you in the comment section below or any questions that you might have on what we just showed you. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Dr. Perry from Stop Chasing Pain. We'll see you soon on the other side. Don't forget that subscribe button so you never miss a future episode. Take care.